So what is going on guys, NandoPrince93 here with another video, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know that iPadOS 14.3 Developer Beta 3 just released, so it was about 160 megabytes in size. Give yourselves at least double that, so anywhere from 300 to 400 megabytes should be sufficient in order to actually get this update done for you. And again, it was pretty quick, pretty seamless. So to go over the build number, this actually gives us an idea of when to expect the final release. So if we go into general, go into the about settings and hit the 14.3 button, you'll see that we're running on 18C5061A. So that's telling me that probably by next week, we'll get the final release version of iPadOS 14.3 and iOS 14.3 that comes along with that. Again, not too many front end differences, if any at all, but there was something that really came to mind, right? There was three things that Apple kind of changed up. And again, they were all back end ones, but if a corporation uses iPads, then this update is gonna be amazing. So I went into the change log, right? And then it says here, iPadOS 14.3 beta now supports shared iPad mode, right? And I immediately thought to myself, holy crap, this is exactly what people have been wanting for forever. You know, they wanted to be able to share one iPad between multiple people, especially in a family, in a household, so they don't have to buy thousand dollar iPads for every single person. But, you know, even though <laughs> shared iPad mode kind of sounds like that's what it would be, I dug a little bit deeper, right? And shared iPad mode, as you can see, look how cool that looks, right? This is what people want. They want multiple accounts within one single iPad device. And as of right now, that you could do it, you could do it, but there's a couple things that you have to kind of get done, right? So first off, this is mostly for corporations that have iPads throughout offices and are shared by multiple users, right? So this isn't gonna really be a situation where, you know, you got one iPad that's shared among three or four of your kids and you can kind of start creating usernames and passwords for all of your user accounts for your kids, right? That's not how it works. Right now it's only for corporate use and you need to have some sort of MDM software, which is mobile device management software. So if you're in the IT space, I know a lot of people that, you know, work in the back end and make sure they have a mobile device management tool to be able to kind of keep track of all the hardware that all the employees are using. So if you have something along those lines, and I know that some IT people bring their work home and kind of set up their own homes just like they would the office, so maybe this is for you, but with the correct MDM software, mobile device management software, you can now create multiple accounts within an iPad, which is amazing, right? And hopefully this is just shed some light and foreshadows that maybe with a 14.4 update, or probably we're gonna have to wait until iPadOS 15 to really get that multiple user support. So again, like I said, you're not buying thousand dollar iPad Pros throughout the entire family for, you know, if you're a family of five, that's $5,000, right? <laughs> Which is not something that a lot of people are willing to swallow. So yeah, the iPad Pro, iPad 5, or iPad 5th Gen and higher, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini, and those are the iPads that are allowed to use this new shared iPad mode. And again, but it's only with mobile device management. So basically, just to kind of read what it says here, shared iPad requires a mobile device management solution and managed Apple IDs that are issued and owned by the organization. And that is how you're able to create multiple accounts. So basically you have one admin that divvies out all these accounts. And the only caveat is that you need to have a minimum of 32 gigabytes of storage for the iPads, which for the new iPads is no big deal, but some of the older ones did come with 16 gigs. But that is what shared iPad mode is. And again, I'm really hoping that it's gonna start coming to all the consumers and not just keep it as like a corporate level detail, a corporate level add-on or whatever the case may be or feature, that's the word I was looking for. But again, shared iPad, hopefully it's foreshadowing something a lot better for us. And then that was pretty much it when it comes to something new. There was a couple other fixes that they created, a couple more bug fixes that around, that focused on chat and the keyboard freezing up on you because I'm still getting that keyboard issue even with 14.3. But other than that, it's been pretty good. And the last thing I do want to touch on is how the battery life has been for the iPad. So again, I usually keep the iPad plugged in on the Apple keyboard or the Magic Keyboard. So you can see that I'm pretty green all the way across, right? But you can see that my screen on time is about five hours and 45 minutes. And then two hours and 15 minutes of screen off time over the last 10 days, if we click on that one, it's a little bit less right there because again, it was the holidays, we were on vacation, I tried to lower my screen time as much as possible, guys, but that's what the battery looks like. It's pretty good, I haven't had any hiccups with the battery, and again, I'm running the 2018 iPad Pro, so my battery isn't as new as those 2020s, right? So that's amazing to see that the iPad is holding up and the battery is staying strong, guys. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I did wanna show you guys, got that cool Pitaka case on the back. I'm gonna link it below, and then obviously, channel sponsor Paperlike, as you can see. If I bring it down here, you can see the screen protectors on there, always ready. 
making sure that anti-glare is there. But that's going to do for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below if you guys have had any issues, if you guys updated, if you're going to wait, or if you guys are still on just a public release schedule. But again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.